Hi everyone, Marie here, and today this is my What's Sold. Um, we are doing a What's Sold for October. I have picked some higher valued stuff on eBay and a various on Poshmark US and Poshmark.com. So we'll just get right into it because as you can see, I got a lot of tabs, a lot to show. So this is a massive elements jacket men's extra large. Um, I hope you would have looked this up if you walked by it. We sure did. It sold, I don't remember exactly, but it was like the high 200, like 280 or something. Now my eBay is in US dollars and my Poshmark Canada is in Canada dollars. So I think I managed to profit $295 Canadian after all it was said and done. So here's the pictures for you. Something to keep an eye open for. Um, this brand seems to be very good. It's um, but this jacket, this particular jacket was um, up there in the $300 mark. So then we have a Filson sweater. This was brand new with tags. I had a really good month in October. So I don't normally find any of this stuff I'm about to show you. So these are my one-offs almost. This was new with tags, like I said. Sold for $238. This was a fairly new item. Then we have this vintage, and I even spelled vintage wrong. I spelled it with an L. Um, vintage walls jacket. Uh, men's large. I took a chance. I seen some up. I don't think any particularly sold in this um, tree bark camo print. But I think this might have been like a limited edition. So I took a... I, th I thought I took a best offer, but maybe not. Maybe it's sold full price for $149. Anything that's old, though, and obviously camo, I tend to look up. Then we have a new to me brand. This is a Vormi um, sweater. There's not very many of them up, and I didn't have this very long. This was a size small in men, sold for $113. Um, just an outdoor brand, I guess. I don't know. Like, it's, I just happened to, it, it felt good, so then I thought, well, I'll give it a try and look it up. I normally stay away from the men's stuff, like men's small stuff, but this one turned out really great. We have a Todd Schneider shirt jacket. This was a heavier Todd Schneider. It didn't have pockets here, but it had pockets there. This sold for $95.95, and this sold very quickly. I think it sold within the day, so I could have had it marked too low, but I was quite happy with the sale. Then we have another Filson. So this is a surprise to have two Filsons in one month. A lot of higher dollar stuff sold in October and I just don't understand why. Some of it, like it was sitting here. Um, this Filson, let me see here. This was a heavier weight. This one was early 4,000. I think I'm at 4,500 now. So, you know, this was like 500 SKUs ago and a bit heavier weight is sold for our best offer. I think I took like $75 for this. And then I bought a lot of these, um, words, um, these models, like they're just like little die cast models. So I paid, I think, 35 bucks for a box of 15. This one sold for 79.88. I just looked them up as, I looked up a few, it was on an auction. So I looked up a few and they seemed to be enough that I thought, oh, I could get my money back. 
Um, and this one here, 79.88. So that gave me my money back. Then we have this vintage Levi shirt, medium blue, chambray. Uh, it had a little hole there. I don't know if this one was undersold or not. It was $98 I sold it for. And this one went to a freight forwarder to go overseas. When I sell stuff, when I undersell stuff, I don't get upset about it. I, I'm quite happy to get the money in my pocket. I put it up for $98. I sold it for $98. Here is another one of those tanks. This one sold for $67.90. So some of them in the box were like, you know, $39. And then other ones are a little higher. These are the only two I've sold so far. So I'm I was hoping because of being Christmas and stuff, they'd pick up. They're all new in box, but I did put them as used because... The boxes do have, you know, some scuffing along the sides or a lot of them, one of them has like a plastic thing over top of the case and, and then and the rest of them don't. So then I just thought, well, I'll just put them as used to be safe, but they've never been out of the boxes. Then I have a Hickey Freeman blazer. Uh, my blazer sales are slowing down. This one was $69.88. This one had a couple of poles. Um, it's also got a Laura piano fabric, which makes it better. And this one actually sold fairly quickly too, I think. Yeah, $42.76. Then we have a Royal Bones jacket. I had a lot of interest on this but it took a little longer than I thought. I mean, I still think it's a 4,000, yeah, an early 4,000. So 500 SKUs ago, but I mean, it was a medium, but it sold for 79.80. And this Royal Bones is like a Trip NYC brand, I think. We have Outlier, which is another great brand that I love finding. I don't find it often, but when I do, I'm very happy. And you're not gonna find anything on the back. Um, I'm pointing at the screen like you can see me. And, um, but you have to reach in and you'll see this. These went for 82.88. And that was the 42 skew too. So all the stuff, heavy dollar stuff, a lot of it was um, new stuff. So here we have a Jose a Jose Bank sports coat. I don't normally pick this up, even though I do think that it might be going good. I haven't checked it out lately. Um, not for much, but I think it sells well. But this one sold for $69.77. But this one was new with tags, so that's why I picked it up. It was also like a traveler's jacket. It seemed to be going well when I looked it up. Um, yeah, retail on this was $598. But this one was up at $3,700. So lastly for eBay, we have a pair of CP Shades pants. Um, I didn't look these up. I did take a best offer of around $60. I don't think it was a very big offer that they took off. Um, but these were nice wide leg pants, that nice leg and looky look. Their linen. So I was surprised to sell it because these sold, I think, well, these sold in October. So after the summer. And they were still in the 4000 So pretty much everything I sold was fairly new, like all the higher dollar stuff. So over to Poshmark Canada. So these are Canadian prices. We have in a Goldie bodysuit. This is the first time I found anything a Goldie. So I thought, I'm picking it up. I, I, I didn't even look it up. I was a little disappointed when I got home, but I still put a bigger price on it and it still sold for $43. So, and this one was fairly recent too. Reformation shirt. I don't find this often either. So some of these brands, this was a size large, very tiny though. Like I guess it must've been a, uh, a stretch crop top type of thing. 
And this sold for $36 on Poshmark. We have a Chico's sweater sold for $38. Um, I do buy Chico's with new a tag too. This was a size three, so that was an extra large. That's nice. I mean, Chico's is expensive, $109 for a Chico sweater. So it went for $38 Canadian, but I would have paid $719 for that. And let me see here. I'm pretty sure this was fairly new too. Yep. This one is new, but very old. This hung in my closet, I think, for probably a year. Um, I had some depilling to do on it. I, I don't know. My husband picked it up. I wasn't sure about it. <sighs> Excuse me. It is a Yule Vang sweater. Um, by what I could do, by the, the research, it was a women's sweater. But it looked tiny for a large, like... I did get positive feedback and they loved it. It was 100% wool. They paid $46. I I couldn't tell you. I don't think we'll ever come across it again. So yeah, it was fairly new, but it, it was hanging in the closet for a long time. Here's a Lucky Brand shirt, 3X. I, I sometimes do pick up Lucky Brand when it's a big size. And this was, you know, floral. It was flowy. It had all that nice boho looking to it. This sold for $30. Um, I don't know if this was new. Eh, $39, not too far back, but still far enough. Like, here is a smart wool. I put this one in here. This one only sold for $20, but it is very damaged at the bottom. Um, yeah, somebody could fix that easily if they knew how. But still, this is why I pick up smart wool and I'm not really worried if it's damaged or not because it still will sell. Let me see. This one here was $3,300, so it did take a little longer. You're waiting for that right person that wants to buy it. Here is an M.M. Le Fleur. I have been picking this up. Um, this one sold fairly quickly. This is a faux wrap. Sold for $44. This is what it actually looks like. I don't, I do use stock photos. You're not allowed, so do as you will. Um, but I tend to put them as the second photo. And I tend to use them in places where I want to show off what it looks like. So, yeah. This one sold for $44 because it had this very light stain on the back of it. Or I probably could have got a little more. Then we have a brand new with tags Rolo, uh, Rolo, Polo Ralph Lauren sweater. Uh, this sold for $63. Just a basic grandpa sweater, you know. I think, yeah, this one's been up for a little bit. And then we have a Wrangler's jacket, vintage. Um, corduroy collar. I wouldn't normally pick up Wranglers, but it's a trucker jacket. It's, it's nice. It's vintage. It, it, it checked all the boxes. So, and it was in good shape and a good size. I mean, it did have some staining, like a little flaw. What did I say down here? It has some light wear because it had some of these, um, plus, and I don't have a, a thing for that one. So I don't know how long I've had that one. Here we have a pair of Levi's women's jeans. This is a 501 Beaky. These are not old jeans. These are uh, new. These sold for $55. Let's see, here's the big E. If you find the vintage ones, they would be much more money. But these are a fairly new um, what is this? I think it's this number right here. So I think it would be like 2020. And these went up 4200 Here is some Live by Habitat. I'm still selling Habitat. This is a new brand that when I bought a bunch of stuff that was new with tags, uh, I realized that it was actually a pretty good brand, so I'm still selling through some of my new with tag stuff, but I'm I'm down 
to most of it's gone. And now normally I just pick up everything that I have that pre-owned because I know I can at least get 20 to 25 pre-owned. This was nice. This was $52. I really regret now not picking up more of it. I just didn't, I was testing the market and then so it wasn't all the other resellers around me. So this was 3,200 though. So it's been there a while, but some of you are waiting. Here is another Live by Habitat. This one went for 5,500. This is like a long tunic, um, short mini dress type of thing. It was sheer. So, I mean, you're, you're waiting new with tags. So extra large. I expected them to go faster than they did go. This one was 3,500. This is a snowsuit, and I picked it up just because of what it looked like. That was about it. Who who could not love that? I did see though when we when I took pictures, there is this weird. It looks like a stain, but it, like the fabric felt like it was like melted a little bit. So, but it sold for ninety six dollars, and I got good reviews. And here's the last one for Poshmark's Canada. This was a new tag 511 tactical rain jacket. I took a chance. Um, I just assumed for a three extra large rain jacket, somebody would want it and I'd be able to, like I paid no more than 10 bucks for this. So I expected to get my money back for sure. Um, and it was a rain jacket. I can come back up here and look. This part zips off, so you can have a long rain jacket or a shorter rain jacket. So 145. So as you can see, some of these sales are adding up. Over to Poshmark US. Here is a Patagonia extra large shirt for a woman's. Got your thumb hangers there. It had a little stain, a little teeny, teeny spot. And that was a newer listing. Here we have a soft surroundings. I have been a little more pickier, but I'm picking up. This is like an, an open cardigan type, you know, Komodo looking thing. I was hoping for a little more just because of the style and what it looked like, but I took an offer of $30 because this one was around a little longer, 3,800. Here is a Rollwin sweater, um, sold for $60. So, I mean, in these cases, like $60 would have been, what, 75? You know, once I transferred it over in Canadian funds, I do incur an extra cost because I pay a stallion the extra money per item, and then I pay um, the stallion UPS rate to ship my items to stallion. So there's always like around a dollar to two fifty, depending on how much I sell. I have been nailed with an extra $4 per item on one where I, cause sales dropped off. And if I sell something on Poshmark us, then I have to, um, I have no choice but to ship it stallion. So sometimes I think once I had like three or four items go out and then it worked out to be like four something an item, which wasn't great, but you do what you can do. So this was 4282. This is a good brand to look out for. We pick it up and everything we find. And did I show you the tag? And have I been showing you the tag? That's the question now I'm thinking. This is what you want to look out for. Here is a tucker knock. This is the first tucker knock I found after doing some research. It turned out to be a women's boyfriend performance shirt uh very simple um tag like this one was 42 sold for 25 dollars here is planet this is one of my new favorite brands i don't find it often i wish i did because then i wouldn't have to worry about money it sells fairly fast this one was a very unique piece though. It had the big bat sleeve type things. Um, it did have pockets. Uh, there's the tag. 
this was like a one size, I assume, because there was no size tag. So I think that's what I put, uh, one size. I did put measurements because, you know, it's a very boxy fit. So that one was, you know, 4,100. So, yeah, I don't think that one was around very long. Then I have this Lacoste polo shirt. Um, I put read here just because this looked tiny, like tiny, tiny. Um, so I just said that in this size six size is supposed to be an extra large, but um, I said the, the chest measurements were 40 inches, which looked like a medium and large instead of extra large. I mean, I didn't know if it was a boy's extra large or if it was just a slim fit. I, I was hoping that the person, I did get good feedback. So that sold for $30. I think I might've had it up too high in the beginning. That's a price drop because we've had this one 37.65, so a bit. Then we have this mountain hardware jacket. This is a puffer jacket. Uh, we had this one for a while, I think. I don't know if I'd pick it up again or if it's just the red, I don't know. It had some marks on the arms and it was an extra large and I don't know, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know how long I've had it for. But it sold for $75 US. Then we have Ariat, which is a really good brand to get. This was just a canvassy type of workwear shirt. Sold for $27. I, I actually think I still have one that's in a gray. So I'm surprised that I still have this. But um, I do try not to buy a lot of women's Ariat that looks normal. Um, but the men's stuff, I, I will pick up. Here we have a pair of Hudson's jeans. Natalie, super skinny. I think I've had these for a while. I guess we'll find out. I don't pick up a lot of Hudson. Um, I'm not sure if it's just the size or the type. These were 23.24. So yeah, this is a while back. Um, I know skinny jeans are not normally the thing right now, so I don't know, waiting for the right person, um, I, I'm not sure. There's some brands out there like Curtin and Elliot and Citizens of Humanity, Hudson, and even some Madewell. I'm just not sure anymore because a lot of them are skinny jeans, um, cut from the cloth used to do well for me. These are things that I tend to stay away from now. Robert Graham, extra large. I do pick up Robert Graham still. Normally bigger sizes and unless it's a cool pattern or something. We picked up a lot of Robert Graham. What's this one? 20, yeah, 25. We picked up a lot of Robert Graham at one time. So we sold off a bunch right away and now we're just pushing the stragglers. And lastly, Nothing big. We have an athlete of pants, women's too, skinny. So these are just a pull on, I think. Uh, nope, then I have a button. Uh, zipper pockets. At one time, I used to pick up everything athleta, so this is probably where this came from 2283. <coughs> oh, sorry, my throat. So that's it. So um, these were my October sales. So let's say we have $12,563 in gross total. So that is the best I've ever done. Last November, I did like 11,000 and something. So um, that was 6,761. Now let's see if this works because I'm sharing my screen. So hopefully this does work. If not, I'll talk you through it. But I'm going to take you over here. So this is my October sale. So yeah, 12,000. I sold 284 items. My average sales price was $44 gross. So I had 46% um, men's clothes, 46% women's clothes. 
Um, and then just some hard goods, some plush, nothing major. But see, this is how bad eBay was, even though I had great sales. So it was luckily I, I sold a lot of really high dollar stuff because I, 47 percent of it was just eBay. And then Poshmark's sort of equaled out there and one tiny Etsy sale that I rarely ever do. So I had, what did I say? I said 67. Oh, I read this one. I did have a couple of uh, returns. So $65, $65, $6,592 works out to being 42% ROI and a $23 per item net. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah. So let's head back over to the other one, just so uh, you may have not seen any of that. Um, yeah, so I think the next video, I'm just going to catch up on my weeklies for November. Um, they shouldn't be hard because so far November has been up the crapshoot. So until the next video, have a great day. Bye.